This is the Vegu uh, USB condenser microphone. It's the model VM50. Uh, so what I'll do is we'll do a quick sample of the audio and then I'll let you see what's in the box and talk about some of the features. So let's get started. So this is what the audio sounds like with the microphone about a foot away from my mouth and it's angled up. I have the volume knob at around 50%. So I'll play you what you're hearing is the raw audio and then I'll show you the edited audio. So this is what the audio sounds like with the microphone about a foot away from my mouth and it's angled up. I have the volume knob at around 50%. So I'll play you what you're hearing is the raw audio and then I'll show you the edited audio. Let's see what's inside. I have to say this is a very nice box. I was not concerned about any this being damaged at all. So I will probably keep this box and put the microphone in when I'm storing it. You get a manual, which you're not really gonna need. Let's just slide this out like so, a little stiff. Uh, let's put this to the side. So you do get a USB, USB-C to USB-A cable, but it also has this little extension that if you wanna make it USB-C to USB-C, that works as well. So it'll work with any type of input you have on a laptop or PC. Let's put that away. And then here, this is the mic stand and the mic, the shock mount and the uh, pop filter all in one. If I was any con, the fact that it is all in one, where some you can actually take the this you, this whole piece off and put it on a mic arm, and then you have more flexibility of where you position it. With this, you have to keep it connected to the base. So that was the only thing I didn't like. I like to have a little more flexibility. So now you just kind of have to either leave it on a table like so, or stack it up uh, to make it higher if you if need be. And then most people will just loosen this knob up and then just angle it to their mouth, probably no more than about a foot away. So, and then you just tighten this down and then it'll stay. And then, like I said, you have the shock mount, which is, actually let's put that down, which is very sturdy. So I think any bumps or anything like that would not come through to the mic. And then you have the um, pop filter, which isn't cloth, it's actually like a metal. So that's, that's actually really nice. Most of them are usually cloth. And then here, like I said, the base is kind of small, but you do have a base. It's heavy at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about it tipping over. And then let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom is the USB plug, and then uh, there's headphone for real-time monitoring, mon monitoring, sorry. And then here you go, right here is the volume and the headphone volume. So I don't really like this because you're controlling the gain volume of the microphone this way. So when you input this into your, your PC, um, you can adjust how loud the microphone is with this, but you're also adjusting how loud the headphones is. So if you need it, so I don't really like that. I wish they were separate so I could have, you know, low headphone, but maybe I need a little more gain volume for the microphone. I could adjust either or, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, for the price, you can't beat that. And then right here where the logo is, it'll when, when it's on, it'll turn on white. And then when you wanna mute the microphone, you just hit it here and then it'll turn red. And then you're gonna unmute, just hit the volume button again, and then you're good to go. And besides that, uh, this is about it. Like I said, no frills, no fuss. It's just a really good USB microphone. If you're lo looking for something that has nice sound and quality, it's, it's all metal um, except for the actual uh, shock mount. Uh, I would say definitely get it. Uh, you won't regret it. Hope this helped. Take care.